Uh, yeah, along the way. <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah, there is, there is a lot of learning lessons. I'll just say that. <laughs> gotcha. But, um, but yeah, the, I, part of what made this the worst, the worst deal for me wasn't so much the extent of the work. It was yeah. the extent of the work combined with having the wrong contractors. Got it. Um, it was on that deal that I fired my first contractor, um, which- Hopefully you didn't lose too much money from him. Oh, yeah. It, I mean, if we want to talk numbers on this, he, yeah. I, I made a profit on it, miraculously. Okay. Like mirac <laughs> miraculous. <laughs> okay. Um, I made a profit on this, but he for sure, and I, I didn't even, I didn't even total it all up because I knew it would have gotten me <laughs> very upset thinking about it. <laughs> but he for sure cost me at least thirty grand of profit. Oh wow! For sure. And of that fourteen months, he was probably only on the job three three to four something like that so but he screwed up so much from the beginning that it's like there was just significant issues mind you we were yeah. putting yeah it, we were putting a major addition on when lumber prices were at their all-time high oh my god yes. you know, it was it was brutal it was brutal wow. we had we had one um, one week. Um, I call it my ten thousand dollar week. Um, okay. It was ten thousand dollars in surprises. Okay. Not budgeted wow. for. <laughs> no. no. Uh, yeah. It. That was a rough time. Yes. Um, but that was. It was it was a lot of learning lessons. I learned a lot about how to negotiate with contractors. I learned about a lot about rehab costs, mm -hmm. um, and and just generally like managing the deals. And like I had no idea what I was doing when I started. I was just like, I mean, it was kind of like what I said about marketing and starting yeah. the wholesale and stuff. It was just like, okay, just do it, and I I'll figure it out. <laughs> And yep. so I, this was probably next level because like this, this was a major, major project. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, we, uh, so we had that deal for, for 14 months altogether. Three, three of the, three of those months were delays because of rain. Okay. We had one of the rainiest summers on record. And it delayed us. I counted. <laughs> I had delayed wow. us by three months, literally. That's crazy. Um, so, so where was the where was this deal at? Um, you don't have this to give was me the address, in, just rough area. Yeah, yeah. This was Genesee County. It was in Burton. Um, okay. Which is just uh, just east of Flint. So I actually am just talking to with a, another wholesaler about a deal in Burton right now. Okay. So, um, well, let's start. yeah, if most you, definitely. If, you, if you're able to get it under contract and stuff, we should definitely talk. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I believe we'll be able to get it under contract by tomorrow. Hopefully. So, oh, cool. um, Great. but the original price they want, I, I, I told him he needs to come back and get it lower. So, so we'll see. Yeah. So awesome. That's yeah. great. Um, so with that, so with that being said, you have a, um, you know, so that was your worst deal, and you know, you miraculously, you said you made a profit on that. Yeah. With a twelve grand profit, thirty grand yeah. profit. You, you nailed it. Twelve grand. Twelve grand. <laughs> Yeah. I didn't. Even, I didn't know that. I just. I threw the yeah. number out there. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Okay. For fourteen months of work, it was. It was the hardest twelve grand I've ever made. 
And but obviously that wasn't your only job, so they you didn't make twelve grand for the whole year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. But I I yeah, so I I will say when I when I closed that deal, I quit my job though. Okay. So I I had other deals going by that point and stuff yeah. like that. Right. Like, so, 14 months is, <laughs> you know, a long haul, <laughs> a lot changes 100%. In, in a year. Yeah. So, but there, there was a lot of, um, a lot of good learning lessons with that. And, you know, it, I guess if there's one piece of advice that I have from that deal, there's many, like we could do a whole nother episode just on this deal for sure. <laughs> but, um, but if there was like one, one piece of advice that I think would be useful for everyone, Yep. is get out of your comfort zone. Like I, I've heard it said, like, um, no, uh, what is it? About like how there's no growth happening in your comfort zone. Or um, there, there's no, uh, how does it go? I'm drawing a blank on it. Yeah. So I, I know there's one saying, but I don't think it's the same. Oh yeah, yeah. There is, there's, there's no growth in your comfort zone and there's definitely no comfort in your growth zone. Oh, wow. Never yeah. Heard that. And so anyway, I, I heard it a long time ago, but I, that really stuck with me. And I will say of those 14 months, I, I was not comfortable one single day. <laughs> So, that's but there is an advantage to that. Like I, I learned so much, like yeah. hopefully that, that gives you an idea though, like thinking about that quote and the idea that for 14 straight months and honestly, well, after that, I'm still not comfortable any, <laughs> any day yeah. when I'm, when I'm doing stuff, like I'm still learning and still pushing myself beyond what I think I can. And, yep. and so it's like, but you can tell there's there's so much growth happening because of that. So if you if you want to grow, and if you want to make uh, not just money but be wealthy, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Yeah. Period. Absolutely. If you are if you are comfortable and just comfortable, you are not. You have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Okay. Which means, you know whether i'm getting on the phone all the time once i get comfortable being on the phone now i gotta switch it up and and do something else and hire somebody else to take care of that the, the, the comfortable job that i just had you know yeah. and, and process into something else that's uncomfortable for me so yeah. and, or start doing flipping which is more stressful for me because yeah, yeah. you know but um, so with that being said, uh, that was awesome with your, your, it wasn't awesome. Your worst deal, but thank you for sharing your worst deal. Yeah. And you said you have a deal right now that, that oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm glad you reminded me. So, um, the property address is eight, five, four major street. Okay. That's in Flint. Um, eight, five, four major street. ARV, we're looking at about 55,000, um, repairs right around 20,000, asking 15,000, um, and I'm wholesaling this. So okay. talk to me about that. Here's where it gets really interesting though. So you're mm -hmm. asking, you're, hold on, you're asking 15? 15, yeah. 15K, okay. And where this gets really interesting is the median rents are a thousand dollars a month yeah oh wow okay is that as a three bedroom uh yes yeah that it's three bed two bath oh two bath okay nice yep brick or frame um it's frame frame okay does that matter too much in flint i know it doesn't detroit no not especially if you're renting like it okay. really doesn't matter it's i'll say flint is a great cash flow market in Got fact I, i've seen many many places like nationally where they list flint as like the number one cash flow market in the country 
Yeah. Um, just because it's like, where can you get a thousand dollars a month with less than fifty thousand dollars into a deal? Yeah, well, like, that's just, the same way. That's the same way. De, that's the same way Detroit is too. So Detroit's yeah. the same exact way. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. yeah, Detroit, Detroit, Pontiac, Flint, similar. You gotta, you gotta know where you're going. Um, I would say this is a decent area. Um, really solid cash flow, good neighbors, yep. that sort of thing. And yeah, it's. I mean, it, it's like just consider all in. If you have thirty-five thousand into it, where can you get a thousand dollars a month cash flow for thirty-five thousand? And then you, yeah. and you have a little bit of equity too. Yep. You is know. it vacant or is it rented? Uh, it's vacant right now. Okay. Is it, does it need a lot of work? The main thing is the roof. Um, okay. It it definitely needs a new roof. There's a leak in it. Excuse okay. me. It hasn't hasn't been a ton of damage. Like I said, only about twenty thousand in repairs, which is. I'll say that's a smaller rehab than I've ever done. <laughs> yeah. So it, the rest of the house is in pretty good shape. So okay. I would say I would say it's the roof, some drywall repair, and yeah. it's more or less ready to rent. Awesome. So. Well, if you want, if you have pictures, I don't know if you do or not. So, um, but if you do, go ahead and post it in the group and see if you get any reply. Or if you want, uh, you know, if you want me to uh, post it out to my email, email list and you want to JV with me, I'm happy to do that. Just send me all the information and email. So like yeah. all the photos and everything. So, um, sure. and we we'll kind of go from there. So, um, and that goes for anybody out there that is looking to JV on any deals. I'll be happy to look at them. Um, you know, if, if I feel that you know they're good for my buyers list i'll i'll put on you know blast and uh you know put them out to my buyers and and see what we can go from there so that goes for anybody out there my number is right here this 586-307-4765 you can call text and my email has been floating down at the bottom randy buys house mi at gmail.com so um you know hit me up call me text me if you are new to wholesaling, if you are new uh, to real estate in general, um, and you want to hop on a call, we're happy to do that. I can either hop on a call, hop on a video call with you, or the video call, um, and you know we can talk about hopes, ad, 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 admirers, and, and all of that stuff. And I'm just giving my open and honest opinion, like I do here, and like I do every every Monday at 8 p.m. So, all right. Um, with that, is there anything else you want to leave everybody with? Uh, no, just get outside your comfort zone. That's the biggest thing. And I, I yep. hope that's your yep. takeaway and you take that to heart and, and start taking action. That's awesome. Appreciate it. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Yep. And then let's all do some deals together and go from there. So Absolutely. I want to say thank you to Michael Hasso. Uh, for coming on here, for telling us his journey. And if you do want to reach him, we did put his number in the side chat as well. But just in case you, you don't have it um, from then and you stay till the end, 989-447-3176. You can also reach him on Facebook uh, under Michael Hasso. Um, and he's very prominent in most of the groups. And Actually, that's where I met you was actually one of the meetup groups. So I think I first met you at the Met the McVee's pub with the, the meetup there. Oh yeah. 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 It was um at a meetup in Troy, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it was either McVee's pub or it was the MREI um uh, the one that's actually this Thursday. So Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, it was MRI. Yeah, so it was that one then. Yeah, it's, you know, if you want to go to any of these meetups, re, uh, go out, see where they're at, and honestly, just go out and start meeting people, introduce yourself. So Yeah, network like uh, crazy. 
100%. Thank you for everybody who's joined. I appreciate it. See you next Monday. Don't know who's going to be on here yet, but we will figure it out. And we will be here whether I have somebody or not. Have a great day. Mike, if you want to stick around for a minute. So, yep, right. we'll do.